everybody, what's going on, what's going on, what's going on? As y'all can see, I'm in civilian clothes. So, um, I decided to do a video today because I had a lot of people uh, write me, asking me, see me out in public, whether I'm at like a gas station, at a ship or receiver, and uh, they always ask me about getting their CDLs. What all you gotta do, is it worth it? So in this video, we're pretty much just gonna go through, um, you know, and I'm gonna talk to y'all and tell y'all my opinion on obtaining your CDL and if I think it's a good idea. Again, I said my opinion. All right, so let's just dive right on into it. Should you get your CDL? That honestly depends on your situation. Uh, me personally, I don't have any kids. I don't have a spouse. I ain't got no, you know, no. I got a puppy, that's about it. So you gotta, you know, look at the job description. You're gonna be on the road. Um, and if you got children, you either gotta look for childcare, figure out how you gonna do that. If you got a spouse, you gotta figure out is your relationship strong enough to withstand long distance because that's exactly what it is. It's long distance. Um, it's 2019, so long distance relationship really shouldn't phase you, you know, but everybody got their own issues within their household, so you might have trust issues. If your relationship ain't solid, don't bring your ass out here. <laughs> Don't bring your ass out here because you can't go home every weekend. You know, can't be on the phone all day, every day, especially if they work. You might be in a different time zone. So those are things you got to look at. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Being away from home, Missing certain holidays, birthdays, dealing with traffic, different climates. Is all of that worth your CDA? And I'm going to say, hell yes. And I'm going to tell you why. If you don't have nothing, if you ain't got nothing going on right now at the house, nothing you working a little measly job trying to figure out how you gonna pay your rent living paycheck to paycheck struggling sleeping on somebody's floor sleeping on somebody's couch right in the room working part-time not getting ahead just being stagnant in life or going in circles then you need to come out here and get these L's get yourself a trade Another reason I say it's worth it, the feeling of being an adult. And when I say an adult, I don't mean because you're over 18 or 21. I mean because you can take care of yourself. 100%. 100%. You all look back around on me. I went through my trials and tribulations for a while, for a couple years. Fell off. Um, I had to sleep on people's couch. You know, I thank God I ain't never had to sleep on nobody's floor, but I had to sleep on somebody's couch. I had to rent rooms. I had to bum rides. I had to borrow money. You know, and that makes you feel less than when you see people around you that are able to do for themselves, and you know that you have their potential, if not better. To have dreams and goals and not be able to sleep at night because you don't know how you're going to achieve them. Little story. I went from no car, no house, apartment, whatever, and in three months of working at Avery, not Swift, but Avery, paid my Jeep off and just, and just uh, rented my first house with an option to buy. Three months. And could have did it sooner, but 
when you know fell off for a little minute, you know you gotta catch, you gotta play catch up. I had to go go get some more clothes, get some more shoes, you know, stuff that to to, to kind of say, TJ, you done good, you're doing good. So I am 100% self sufficient. 100%. I don't need nobody, nobody, not for financial gain, stability, or nothing like that. Nothing like that. I cut girls off. I cut women out of my life. The dating shit, put that to the side. That social media shit, put that to the side and focused on getting a trade, get my CDLs. I got my CDLs and no, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. And it, the test, I'm not, I'm not speaking so much about the test and all of that. I'm talking about the steps to get to my CDL because my license was messed up. Because I was young and dumb and, and didn't care. You know, and one thing about life is when you make mistakes, you have to man up, woman up to those mistakes and face them head on. You can't keep running from them. Because every time you run, it's just going to be another problem and another problem. So I had to come out of pocket over $2,000 to fix my license. And mind you, I just told you I didn't have no vehicle. So I had a job, but I'm up here taking Uber, Lyft, that's money. Asking people to take me to work, having to deal with certain people, keep them in my in my circle because they benefited me in one way or another. All of that. And once I, you know how hard it is to save two thousand and something dollars when you have to constantly come out of pocket just to get your license. Then you got to find a, a school or a company sponsored program that's gonna take you. And most of the time, those companies are gonna be at the bottom of the barrel. So I went through, I went through a lot just to get the CDL. And then I, I got my CDL, started with Swift, and just to be able to say, that's my space. You don't need no apartment. I didn't need no apartment. I took a bag, a duffel bag, got on the truck. There go my house. That's my place to stay. And I don't want to be in here. I take a little money to go get me a nice hotel for the weekend or for the day or whatever. But as long as I got the mails, I got a place to stay. That was my mindset. As long as I got my mails, I got a place to stay. Put me over the road. Ain't nothing back home. Boom, I'm gone. And once I started looking online and, and looking at other companies and said, okay, how long, you know, how much experience you got to have to go to this company? Three months, all right, six months, all right, I got to tough it out then did the hard work and then you advance to a better paying gig but I say that y'all to say getting my CDL is changing my life to be able to walk in the store swipe your debit card and not worry about damn do I got enough money but damn can I spend this I don't worry about that I don't worry about that now when payday come around, when I wait for payday just to be like, how much money I made this week? Not, ah, oh, damn, I gotta pay this bill, I gotta pay that bill, I wonder if my check gonna be enough. None of that. And I'm not boasting, bragging, none of that. I'm telling y'all, I've been there. I've been there. I've been to the point where you scraping change just to go get a black and mild because you stressed out because you can't find no job or your family treats you different. And I'm gonna tell y'all something else. In life, if y'all don't get nothing else from this video, understand this here. In life, you're either an asset or a liability in everybody's life around you. Everybody. You're either an asset or you're a liability. And I'm going to break that down and let y'all know what I mean. If you're a liability, don't nobody want you around. If everybody, every time... They, you know what I mean? Y'all go out, they got to pay your way or they got to buy your food or people don't want that around them. People don't want that around them. Your liability, your liability to what I got going on, I can't have that around me. An asset, you bring value to my life. And it's not just financial. You're in a better spirit when, you, when you're not stressed out about your bills. When you wake up every day and you know that you're getting paid to do something that you enjoy. 
gonna be an asset or a liability. That's it. Those are your two options in life. And when somebody's worked hard or they're working hard towards their goals, they ain't got time to have no liability around them. They ain't got time. They don't have time for it. It's it's a messed up, you know, and that's even relationships with family. Family's the same way. Just because they're your family don't mean that you're not a liability. They can love you and not want you around because they ain't got the money. They know you're going to ask for something and they ain't got it. They struggling too. I don't know about y'all family, but mine, we didn't come from money. I don't have, you know, I'm the only child. I don't have a sister I can call, a brother I can call, an auntie, uncle. I can call and say, hey, let me borrow this, this, and this. And even if I did, if you ain't got no way, people know whether or not you're going to pay them back. So you're not borrowing. You asking. You grown as hell asking for money from another grown individual because you can't get your affairs and your life in order. Getting your CDL will eliminate all of that. All them problems. All them problems. You feeling like you ain't good enough. You can't pay your bills. You can never, you know, you got a checking account. You got a savings account for no reason because ain't no money in the savings account. CDLs eliminate all that. You need to fix your credit. You know, you can't get your own spot because your credit messed up. You know, messed up your rental history. Now you got to pay, you know, your last apartment off before you can go get a new one. CDLs fix all that. And I'm not saying it's going to be easy. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you can do it with your CDL. So, it, you know, I done been at home during Christmas, Thanksgiving, and birthdays, dead ass bro. So if I miss a couple holidays because I'm chasing some money, I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I promise that ain't gonna be the last Christmas. It's not the last birthday. It's not the last Fourth of July, Memorial Day, Labor Day. That is not the last one. Put your affairs in order. You got some grinding to do. You got time to make up for it. This hustle personal now. So is it worth it? Hell yeah. And as you climb that ladder, you'll start to see the people around you. It makes you reevaluate people around you because now you're, you're an asset. So people that didn't call you and check up on you every day, they start to hit you up. They see that you can start getting your, you know, fellas, your, your hair cut. Your edge up on point now. You know, you're dressing better. You went from walking to now you got a little car. Women start to treat you different. <laughs> Ladies, same thing. Get your nails done now. Oh, your hair done now. You got a car now. You got your own place now. Men treat you different. And the value that you have in yourself will change. The people that you used to date, you ain't even gonna, you ain't even gonna want them type of people no more. The friends you used to affiliate yourself with, you ain't even gonna want, you done leveled up. You're in a whole different playing field now. So it's like, you don't need that. It's sacrifices to this shit. That's what a lot of people don't understand. In order for me to get a, a, a G, pay that thing off, Go get a house. It was sacrifices to this shit. It wasn't no going on dates. It wasn't going to them club. It wasn't being at home every weekend. Now I'm at home every weekend. Now I can go to the club if I want to. Now I can take a cup, you know, take a shorty out on a date. But I grind for it first. You gotta make the hustle personal. You gotta make people regret that they treated you the way they did. All I'm saying is your CDL is a trade and a trader will forever be in demand. But you gotta work for it, you gotta want it. You know how good it feel to put your key in your own door knowing can't nobody, can't nobody kick me out this shit, they mine. Get in your car and be able to go when you wanna go 
for however long you want to go. And if you get an Uber or a Lyft, it's because you're too drunk to drive home. Not because that's your only option. To be able to put money up for your kids. To be able to put them in extracurricular activities. And not be like, I'm going to have to wait and see. Or I'm going to have to borrow the money from such and such. Sacrifices. But it pays off. I promise you. It pays off. So is it worth it? Yes. Absolutely. Every bit of all the frustration. Especially when you get with a good company. You put your time in. And you know. It's not always a year. It's not always two years before you can go find your company that's going to pay you well. That's not the case. Because y'all seen what I make at Avery. Avery is a solid company. Will I be with Avery forever? My goal isn't to stay in trucking forever, so no. My goal isn't to retire in trucking 20 years and then no. I got a plan. You got to have a plan. Have yourself a one-year plan, a three-year plan, a five-year plan. And a seven year plan and a ten year plan. But is it worth it? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So for I hope I answer the questions for the people that ask me. And how to get your CDL. I mean I could tell y'all the, the street way and I could tell y'all the, the morally correct way. know depends on if you got money and if you don't how bad you ready to drive a truck that's a video for another day but this is America there's always a way to get what you want always so I hope I answered y'all questions I'm on my way to the house and uh I got another load. My load leaves. My last load for the week leaves in the morning at 4.30. Friday. Uh, I'm on a new account. I don't know if I told y'all. I'm on a new account. I'm out of West Palm Beach. Back in uh, Georgia. I'm on uh, our PetSmart account. And uh, this is my first time on PetSmart. I've done Petco. But this is my first time on PetSmart. No major difference in the two except Pep Smart, Pep. Pet Smart, you don't unload. They unload their own truck. So that I'm loving that. <laughs> I'm loving that. Um, that's the only difference between Petco and Pet Smart. They unload their own trailers. And I think we just go, if I'm not mistaken, Pet Smart just goes around Georgia, North Carolina, and South Carolina. So if you live in Atlanta, near Atlanta, you can be at home every day. And off on the weekend. They know how you rain clock. But yeah, um, I'm gonna do a video. But I don't know if I'm gonna do a video tomorrow. Don't hold me to that, y'all. But I knew I told y'all, I know I told you guys I was gonna let y'all know what my last check was looking like down in West Palm Beach. I grossed uh, 1200 So that wasn't bad. So yeah, y'all got any other questions, concerns, topics y'all want me to talk about, let me know. I will be doing a video on Avery versus Swift, uh, just because that's the only other company I went to. So stay tuned for that. Y'all stay blessed, highly favored. To all my fellow truckers, remember, you're not just driving for you, but you're driving for them. And your most important stop is the one at the house. And before I forget, I can't remember your name, so I apologize, but one of my subscribers, two of my subscribers, just left every orientation and on the road with their trainer now. So I told them to uh, let me know how it's going. They told me they love, they love orientation. So big ups, welcome to the family. And uh, yeah, man, if y'all got any questions on Avery, y'all let me know. Royalty the trucker. Stay blessed, y'all.